voluntary net neutrality will protect consumers after repeal, FCC claims. The Federal Communications Commission is still on track to eliminate net neutrality rules this Thursday, but said today that it has a new plan to protect consumers after the repeal. The FCC and Federal Trade Commission released a draft Memorandum of Understanding, M, describing how the agencies will work together to make sure ISPs keep their net neutrality promises. After the repeal, there won't be any rules preventing ISPs from blocking or throttling Internet traffic. ISPs will also be allowed to charge websites and online services for faster and more reliable network access. Further reading Comcast deleted net neutrality pledge the same day FCC announced repeal. In short, ISPs will be free to do whatever they want, unless they make specific promises to avoid engaging in specific types of anti competitive or anti consumer behavior. When companies make promises and break them, the FTC can punish them for deceiving consumers. That's what FCC Chairman Najat Pai and Acting FTC Chair Maureen Alazn are counting on. Instead of saddling the Internet with heavy-handed regulations, we will work together to take targeted action against bad actors, Pai said in a joint announcement with the FTC today. FCC Commissioner Mignon Cliburn, a Democrat who opposes the net neutrality repeal, is not impressed. She gave the statement to ours, the agreement announced today between the FCC and FTC is a confusing, lackluster, reactionary afterthought, an attempt to paper over weaknesses in the chairman's draft proposal repealing the FCC's 2015 net neutrality rules. Two years ago, the FCC signed a much broader pro-consumer agreement with the FTC that already covers this issue. There is no reason to do this again other than as a smoke and mirrors PR stunt, distracting from the FCC's planned destruction of net neutrality protections later this week. Democratic Commissioner Jessica Rosen Worsell agreed. FTC enforcement is no substitute for strict rules against blocking, throttling, and discrimination, she said. Plus, FTC enforcement would happen long after the fact, many months, if not years after consumers and businesses have been harmed, she said in a statement to ours. This is why the FCC must not relinquish its authority and, more importantly, its responsibility, to the public interest. Pai's approach essentially lets ISPs pick and choose which net neutrality guidelines, if any, they want to follow. Most major ISPs are, so far, still promising that they won't block or throttle lawful Internet content. But net neutrality promises are eroding. Comcast deleted a no-paid prioritization pledge from its net neutrality web page on the very same day that Pai announced his plan to repeal net neutrality rules, as we previously reported. al confirmed again today that FTC jurisdiction hinges on those ISPs' promises. This leaves open the possibility that ISPs could change promises related to blocking or throttling. The FTC is committed to ensuring that Internet service providers live up to the promises they make to consumers, Alazan said. FTC Commissioner Terrell McSweeney, a Democrat, has said repeatedly that the FTC cannot enforce net neutrality as effectively as the FCC. The FCC has broad rulemaking authority and expertise in network engineering that the FTC lacks, McSweeney told ours in April. Further reading FCC won't delay vote says net neutrality supporters are desperate. Moreover, the FTC's jurisdiction over Internet service providers is uncertain. Pai's plan would shift authority from the FCC to the FTC by eliminating the common carrier classification of broadband. But a pending court case involving AT&T could end up stripping the FTC of any regulatory authority over ISPs that also operate common carrier phone networks. AT&T's attempt to eliminate FTC authority over any aspect of its business was initially successful when the panel of judges at the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit ruled in AT&T's favor last year. A more recent court decision vacated AT&T's victory but a final ruling has not yet been issued. Despite this, Pai decided not to delay the vote on his plan for the FCC to relinquish authority over broadband providers. The FTC's authority in this matter is in question and does nothing to answer those concerns, Rosenworcel said today. 
PIE's plan does require ISPs to make public disclosures of blocking, throttling, paid prioritization, prioritization of ISPs' own content, congestion management practices, and limitations imposed on specific types of applications or devices. The FCC FTC agreement relies partially on those disclosures. This is how the FCC and FTC describe the major parts of their collaboration. Consumer Advocacy Group Public Knowledge said that the FCC FTC plan will not protect consumers from ISPs. Not only is the FCC eliminating basic net neutrality rules, but it's joining forces with the FTC to say it will only act when a broadband provider is deceiving the public public knowledge VP Chris Lewis said. This gives free reign to broadband providers to block or throttle your broadband service as long